holy moly guys there was just a deep explosion deep in russia at one of their nuclear plants that they make products there okay um simply put if i can simply put that uh, i don't know how many red lines has been crossed with russia Again, let me let me remind you guys, this is one of the biggest countries that has nuclear arms and they're going against, I think, 32 or 35 countries. So one country being ganged up on by 32 to 35 countries. And we have crossed the red line so many times. I, I just lost counts from, you know, their pipelines to their flagships to, you know, drone attacks close to Moscow, all the way down to a hit assassination on Putin, all the way down to seizing their assets, all the way down to forfeiting their assets. And, you know, and the most, one of the most craziest thing is that Putin or, or Russia, they're not even, they're just saying, they're just, they're not even, you know, coming out and saying this happened to us, they're just covering it up. Okay. Uh, I can tell you from being a cyclist, there's two types of dogs out there that will chase you okay and you got to go fast the one will definitely kill you but the other one you still have a chance the the two types of dogs are as, as follows one type of dog will chase you and bark and bark and bark and bark as they chase you they could be big they can be small they can be crazy they can be not crazy okay the other type of dog that chases me when i'm cycling and this happens in many different states is that they're quiet you don't hear a word they say, and they just go, they're fast, and they're just going to come get you. They won't say anything, okay? And this is where my fear is, that Russia is being that country. They haven't said much. We've, we've crossed the line so many times. We're at, we're at their doorsteps. Let me remind you, America's here. Russia's miles and miles and miles away. We're at their doorsteps, okay, trying to implement taking over of their economy, taking over of their natural resources, and we're wondering why they're fighting, right? And now we're constantly, you know, sacrificing the last Ukraine for our own political gain of supremacy in the world by sucking the natural resources from every country out there, and now we have our teeth set on Russia. Uh, and the thing that worries me a lot is that these guys are not, they're being very calm. They're not being reactive. And, you know, all this takes is just a couple of buttons and it's pushed and we're going to be in a Mad Max situation. It's hard to believe when you're living in America and, you know, people are talking about doing X or doing Y or doing Z. They don't even know what's going on around them. But if you watch other channels from other countries, you quickly realize that things are not as it is today. I wrote something on my Instagram and actually Facebook and YouTube that says something like this. I can't remember exactly. It says, the Titanic is sinking, everyone's drinking and dancing, and no one's realizing the sinking. Let that sink in, right? No pun intended. Because it really is sinking, ladies and gentlemen. We're going down um, and no one is even realizing it, okay? One of the other craziest things is that uh, Tucker, that, that journalism, he's, he's going to Russia, and everyone's talking all crazy about, like, we should sanction him, we should lock him up, this, this, this. And it makes you think about what I told you guys many moons ago when they, almost two years ago, when they cut off RT from our uh, news, from YouTube. And I said, look, man, democracy is over. Uh, free speech is almost, in a sense, over because they don't want you to know the other side. How crazy is that? They want you just to be a slave. They don't even want you to know the other side's opposition's opinion or their own facts for you to make a decision or for me to make a decision, right? They're going to cut out the burn books, not for you to hear the other side, the opposition side. That is crazy, dude. Uh, I thought America was freedom and democracy, and you can see just... just for journalism to do his job, people are all getting worked up about locking him up. Another, uh, et, another uh, <clears throat> Julian Assange. Now, I, 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 before I wasn't a fan of Tucker when he worked, was working for the big um, 
legacy medias, you know, when he sold us all the other wars. But, you know, since he's left there, he seems like he's been more free. And in a couple of times, I watched him like two or three times, he seemed like more free to speak his mind and really not be a propaganda puppy for uh, for, for whoever, right? Uh, and actually doing more real work, you know, which, which is good for him. I'm proud of him because that's exactly what we all should do. Be our dreams versus working for corporate America because you can see they'll suck your soul and spit you out and throw you out. But he has, has happened to bounce back, okay, and fight for the truth, you know. He's one of the few that is going to actually monetize from the fighting back where majority of people like myself, when we tell the truth, we just get silenced, we get uh, sandboxed, we get de-promoted, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And it's okay. That's, that's what it is when you stand up. You, you got to be willing to get, you know, get a haircut in a sense, okay? But one of the very few that actually has been able to monetize <clears throat> on his ability to stand up and not really be deplatformed, okay? Uh, but it's just crazy that in America they're mad at journalism for doing their job when their whole propaganda that they preach to other countries before they take over or throw their governments away is like, we're a democracy, dude. You need to have free rights. We need to have this. But then that inside of their own country, we're not even going to do that. We're not even going to do that. You know, we're talking about like hanging this guy up. I just think it's pretty funny because... The end is here. That, that's what makes it real funny because everyone's fighting by the dumbest stuff, not realizing the Titanic sinking, they're, they're drinking, they're dancing, right? Not realizing it's sinking. Let that sink in. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for clicking the like button. Love to hear your thoughts below. Uh, if you're interested in real estate investing, go check out my uh, website. Uh, I got a bunch of free uh, training and books for you guys. And I also got some paid products and services that'll take your business to the next level if you're interested in supporting me. Don't take no for an answer. Always remember, you're braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, smarter than you think, and twice as beautiful as you ever imagined. Romy, my real estate dojo. This is Mike with MrNoFlip.com. Peace.